Why was my belly button closed? <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to another episode. It's your girl Kyla Jade. And y'all, as you can see, I did my makeup this morning. I wanted to go take pictures and just make content. And I wanted to go put my belly button ring in. You know, because the belly button ring just, it just do something. Why was my belly button closed? It was closed. My belly button hole was closed. So, now I'm actually sitting out front of the tattoo piercing shop because I need to get it re-pierced. Like, it's about to be summertime. I cannot be out here with no belly button ring. The crazy part about me actually coming here is I've been wanting to get my tragus pierced. This uh, little piece right here. But I don't know because I'm kind of nervous. Like, I'm not really that good with pain. Like, I can handle it, but... I'm not gonna go out of my way to be doing the most. So we're just gonna go inside and see what happens. Maybe I'll get both, who knows. But when I first got my belly button pierced, I think I was like 16 or 17. I literally was, or maybe younger than that. I think I got it my freshman year. So I don't know, it's been years since I had a piercing. So let's just go ahead and get inside this shop and see what happens. I'm inside now. She just took my ID. So, we're going to see. I think I'm about to be going back real quick. So, I don't even have time to process this. But it's okay. I did it before, so I should be able to do it again. I still don't know if I'm going to add my Travis piercing. So, what do y'all think? Y'all think it would be cute? It's right here, but like, that's mad thick. Like, that's too much meat. But. I'm gonna ask her. I'm gonna ask her what she thinks. Alright, and I'm gonna fuck you. Just look at it really closely. I don't know about this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. I'm glad we got a little bit of a jet. I don't know. I want to see. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. 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 Is it right here? Yes, ma'am. Did it get ripped out or just came out? I just, like, I think my last one just fell out and then I didn't have, like, I couldn't find it. So I didn't put it back in for, like, months. painful than the last couple times oh, just because yeah. you have scar tissue okay it's a little built up it doesn't look like you really wanted to heal right uh it just might be a little bit more blind too just like keeping you informed i don't remember how it felt last time it really shouldn't have been too bad if they did it right it's probably a three on the pain scale i would say this is gonna be more like a four or five okay. but that's depending on your pain breathing mm -hmm. can i hold something yeah you <laughs> wore that for you too girl i'm so dramatic okay take a deep breath in and out that was not bad oh that all. was easy that was easy it looked a lot worse than it was gonna be oh that that was light heck yeah <laughs> Wait, but the push through kind of says it's hurt. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable. There you go. Pretty done. I can feel it. I thought it was gonna be painful. Nah, I kind of hyped you up with the scar tissue. <laughs> My bad. It's just some girls, theirs like builds really thick, and yours almost looked like it was gonna be. Yeah, when I try to push it through myself, uh, I was like, mm -mm. I thought it was gonna. But yeah, you got a couple hours to get it back in after it, you know, falls okay. out, but you don't really have a couple months at Right. All. Okay, so what do you suggest, like, for me to put, like, my regular ones back in? Like, should I wait a couple weeks? Mm -hmm. Six weeks. So okay. about a month. Same. Okay. Um, cool. If it's not bothering you, a month is fine. You can switch it out. Just try and be pretty quick with it. I was going to ask you about the tragus piercing. What do you, like, how do you feel about that one? This is mine. Yours is a little tiny. Yeah. Okay, it's just certain 
times they like to reject and mm -hmm. if you don't have a really decent size one it's kind of like I don't want to say it's going to for sure work and then it reject just because it's happened, but depending yeah. on your body, it might actually stick and not want to go anywhere. Okay. Um, pain level-wise. Pain-wise, you're looking at probably a good, like, what were your ears? Because <laughs> I feel like you don't have anything up here, so, like, up here is where it starts to get more painful and you mm -hmm. can kind of relate it to that. I had a cartilage way way back i see your nose is pierced it's mm -hmm. gonna hurt about that amount. the same okay. yeah like nose is one of those like higher up piercings where i'm like oh i know you went through something so mm. i feel like that's the right thing to compare it to okay <clears throat> i mean i'm gonna have to think on that one yeah, well, <laughs> i might be back we'll be here early and hey, what was your name i'm stormy okay thank you so much of course. and then just pay up at the front yes ma'am okay y'all have a lovely day you too thank you Oh, these are for kids. Got that was so light. I thought it was going to hurt so bad, and it did not. Now I'm ready to get all, all these new piercings this summer, okay? Who's coming to get they get get some piercings with me? And I want some tattoos. <laughs> Back in the car, my belly button is done being pierced. And that was easy. Like that was way lighter than the first time. She talking about, oh, you have scar tissue. It might be harder. Da -da -da -da, it might bleed. But it really did not. Like, I was so scared when I saw that needle. But trust me, if you need your belly button re-pierced. You can do it. If you got it done the first time, you could do it. If you got your nose done, you could do it. I feel like my nose, honestly, I think that hurt more than my belly button. But I just can't really remember. So, right now, they only put, like, the stainless steel ones in. That's what they do for, like, repiercings or, like, your first time. But this is the one that I got from the hair store. It's like a little bow and it dangles. But for now, I'm stuck with that one. Now that we're out of the tattoo shop it's time to eat like i'm hungry now so i'm thinking that we might go to sonic but i've been craving my freddy's if you know you know freddy's is like a little burger spot in texas and i think i might get that because freddy's just it's gonna hit every time i don't know what sonic sonic be playing but let's go ahead and drive there so that we can get something on our stomach so I'll let you guys know wherever we stop. Um, and yeah. This is Freddy's. And it's about to hit. Like, even that sandwich right there, pretzel bacon burger, that sounds mad good. Yeah, we got our food. Yeah. Okay, okay. So good. I got a jalapeno burger and fries. Nature got tenders and fries. So good. There's a lot of music and it's loud, so I don't know how long I will show you guys me eating, but come to Freddy's. Come. And they have ice cream, milkshake, all of it. It's just such a vibe. Like that old school vibe. Yeah, we came at the perfect time. Look at the line. This fry sauce is so good. I think it's like mayo or something. You wanna show them? Yeah. I'm about to try my burger. I had this one before. I was gonna get the pretzel one, but they're kind of like smash burgers. I think that's what they're called. It has jalapenos, pickles, and then I think it has this sauce on it. A bite for y'all. Eat it up. Eat it up. Mm hmm. Real good. Yep, give them some fries. <laughs> One thing about me, I love spicy. I like jalapenos. I like pickles. So, this is perfect.
just got done eating and we're in Dollar Tree now. So, all right, baby, come on. We gotta look for some soap. So, let's find the beauty section right here. They have the cutest stuff. Like, look. This is in my regular Dollar Tree, so I'm like checking everything out. Look at those instead. And then we need soap. Soap, soap, soap. So this is antibacterial, but it's like the Dollar Tree um, brand. They have the bar soap, and this is the one I usually use. Because she said get Dial, the orange one. But they don't have the actual, like, pump ones. So I'm not sure. I think this should work, though. Like, as long as I'm using some sort of antibacterial. So I'm going to get this. I think that's all I really need, honestly. Anything else I get will be extra. So I'll let y'all know if I get anything. Here's my basket, y'all. I ended up getting stuff I did not come here for, it, but... Found the dumplings I've been wanting. Got my soap and some extra stuff. I'm in line now because if not, I will buy something from every aisle. This girl always wants something. Why do you need that? 